<laughs> Good morning guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So today, as you guys could see, I made my coffee this morning and then I edited all day and I will be honest, it is now going on 4 p.m. and I have not begun filming. I have been dealing with, there's been a lot happening basically. I've been, we, the, the things are happening in life, been on the phone a lot and it's just been one of those days where I'm like, my chest is a ball, everything is crazy. So the most I have done, I did finish a video, that is exciting. And I showered today, which is a huge plus. <laughs> so that is a good thing. I'm letting my hair air dry. It is so, so freaking soft and it smells really good, which I need to show you guys what I put in my hair because I've been using it for a few days now and I am officially obsessed. It is actually going to be in the fall FabFitFun box, which I'm very excited about, which I cannot believe is almost here. Yay! So this is going to be like a little sneaky peek item that's coming in the fall 2021 FabFitFun box. So I am partnering with FabFitFun on this video. Here is the product and this is the Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture CC Cream. It's a 10 in one complete correction leave in is a multi benefit treatment for moisture, shine, smoothness, softness, UV protection, manageability, strength, anti breakage, heat protection, light, and hold. The retail value alone for this product is $29, but you can get the whole fall Fat Fit Fun box for just $39, and you guys can use my code to get $10 off your first box, which is code. Mindy, so feel free to check that out and I can't wait to show you guys what's in the rest of the box. But yeah, let me show you quickly how I use this in my hair. It's just a leave-in conditioner. You literally just put in a little dime size amount. You guys know the drill, rub it together and you literally just run it through your hair, which I've already done. That product literally feels like or smells like I have just come out of a salon. I am obsessed. And apparently it's a full moon this weekend. And I'm like, okay, actually the full moon is tomorrow, I think, Saturday. So this explains it all. This is why everything is gone crazy. Let me know if you guys have experienced anything interesting as of lately and let me know if you guys believe in full moon nonsense i'm a believer i worked in the healthcare field and i'm telling you wicked things happen with full moons i do have a little haul i need to show you guys today though so that'll be fun part of me sometimes i'm not gonna lie like i feel pressured i'm just gonna be open and honest i feel pressured to like not film at home and do more and sometimes you feel like you can always be doing better and you want to be and do well and do better and at the same time it's like I just need to calm down you know I just need to re relax I need to take it day by day not just me but like everybody I think that we all put so much pressure on ourselves to constantly be going and doing and do better and I just think that that's it's great to have goals but it can also be draining and unrealistic we're gonna do our best <gasps> Nina, hi and then she makes everything so much better. I think we should make ourselves a cup of tea. I've had two cups of coffee today, which is what I normally have. I have two and then I cut myself off, but I've had that like chest <laughs> anxiety feeling today. So I think we should go pick out a cup of tea. Guys, oh my God, all the fall stuff is starting to come out. I still need to take you guys out and about. We need to go shopping. I'm trying to procrastinate doing that because it's still technically July. And I'm like, I don't really want to put up <laughs> fall videos in July. Ooh, I don't know. I'm trying to savor the moment because once I start, we're, we're full diving into the fall. I don't know. Is August appropriate? I think so. If pumpkin spice lattes come out in August, then we can start fall and all those fun things in August. I feel like I need a snack. Oh, I already ate lunch. What's wrong with me? Oh my God. It's one of those days. Let's do a little haul here while we're at it, shall we? Item number one. I need to tell you guys down a little bit more. You guys are probably going to wonder why are you purchasing that? Why are you wearing that in Florida? Florida gets cold. Drop into the 30s sometimes. So, plus if we go anywhere wintry this fall or vacations, it'll be perfect. So, I'm obsessed with it. It's like a Sherpa, but honestly, it's not super cozy and soft. It's just um, fluffy. And then the inside, which I wasn't obsessed with that lining, but you know, it is what it is. It's still cute. Here's the back and it does have pockets, which is a must. So here's what it looks like. I mean, it would be cuter if my hair was styled and my makeup was done and all that, but can't be bothered today. And plus we are letting our hair air dry. 
so here's the jacket I really like it I also liked that the sleeves were cuffed and this is a size medium so it is definitely an oversized jacket and then I got three of the same exact product but in the summer the spring like you can wear this at all times with leggings with jeans we'll we'll figure it out we'll make it work they're these cropped cardigans and I thought they were really cute. And I think they have buttons. Do they have buttons? No. They're not cropped cardigans. It's not even a zip type thing. It's just like a throw over cropped cardigan looking sweater type deal. And it's in a pretty green color. Got it in this mauve. Pinky mauve toned. All of these are also size medium. And then of course I went with a basic cream. So that's everything that I picked up from American Eagle. So while we were in Illinois, we stopped at a thrift store and Larry picked up some friends and we're gonna show you them because they fit in perfectly for the upcoming fall season. They're just adorable. Here they are. So they're a combination of little squirrels and chipmunks. I <laughs> think they're adorable. I picked my tea. We are gonna go with the Chai Ultra Spice. Hmm, what should we go with? Let's go with a marble mug, shall we? It matches. I put your new coffee mug from Starbucks up, but not with the other Christmas ones. So also- I didn't show them that. You need to show them. I do need to show them. Well, go on then. Okay. We'll tell what you were going to tell and then I'll show them. Oh, well, I needed to put it away and I didn't know if you wanted it up there. I yeah, I definitely it wanted it up there, but I couldn't reach Okay. <laughs> in the we'll, Christmas mug we'll section. We'll have to move that other stuff that's up there to make room for it, but it'll fit. But yes, they need to see this. This is from- 2001. Yeah. Starbucks. Made mm -hmm. microwave and dishwasher safe. <laughs> Hello. I'm looking. Hi guys. Larry's Hello. talking to you from his backside. <laughs> yeah. At least it's higher up this time than the last time. I didn't know where the camera was and there were some fun comments about that. <laughs> Sorry I scratched you. Yeah. But yeah, when I go thrift shopping I either look for like cute jeans, sweatshirts, tops. In Illinois we went to how many thrift stores? Four? At least four. Struck out at every single no, one. No, we did not. Clothing wise, yes, we did. Oh, except for one. I got a cute, like, pink. I already told them you got your cute tripod. It's cute? That's really good. Well, it's, you know, it's a good tripod. Yeah. But no, like, clothing wise, I struck out. So when I struck out in clothing wise, I start looking at mugs. I almost said cute. Mugs and things like that. So I found this festive. Starbucks mug. The handle had me sold because it's like a peppermint candy cane. During Vlogmas, if we do Vlogmas, we're not in focus. This would be cute. She's doing Vlogmas. I love Vlogmas. I'll probably do Vlogmas. But yeah, this will be part of Vlogmas. So we did find that. And then there was something else that I had found. Oh, my ramen bowl. My ramen bowl. Okay, so I found this. The colors aren't my favorite, like the black and orange, but it's I also Halloween thought- Halloween colors. Yeah, it is Halloween. I thought it was kind of cool. So it came with this spoon. It's all ceramic. It's not cheap made. It's actually from World Market and it says ramen on it and I loved it. It was like a dollar, so why not, you know? And while we were in Illinois visiting our friends, we decided to take a trip into Wisconsin, which you guys probably saw and we had to get the wisconsin been there series and here is larry's cute tripod the before mentioned i'll show you the maker so based on my research on this this was made in new jersey mm -hmm. by the tiltall tripod uh, manufactured by e leaps incorporated uh, but it's all here there's several things that are in pockets around the back that go on here to make it function. And I've been looking forever for a really good tripod. Larry's done too tall for the camera. I was, I was showing him the tripod. You look humongous, come over here. Hello. You are really tall. You guys probably don't realize how tall we are in real life. It's it's funny, like in camera, I don't know. Up. How tall do you think we are? Guys, we have very exciting news to share with you very soon. Yes, we do. Like I, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That news will be coming in the next video, so be prepared. Whoa, another Lion King reference. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. What are we having for dinner? I don't know. I still have chili left. Also craving tacos. I'm also craving spaghetti. Mm. 
I want all the things, which you guys know is a staple. We haven't made that in a lot, long time. I have not had spaghetti or tacos in over two weeks. That is so dramatic, isn't not it? Tacos. But we still need to do grocery shopping. I haven't even, we haven't done that either since we've been home. Not, well, no. You well, didn't. you went while I was away. I went while you were gone and you stopped on the way back. But I only picked up one thing for dinner, not like everything. Yeah, but you got me chicken. Oh, I did eat chicken. Mm hmm get a, a little um claw back oh, i'll be back so i think on my channel since i haven't done anything forever i've accumulated some things over the last however many months that i've picked up at thrift stores or ebay that i can probably do a thrift store or ebay haul so look forward to that coming out very soon that would be good chai is good by the way i think i'm going to take you guys into the hall closet and under the bed <laughs> Sounds very creepy. Good luck with both of those places. But that's because that's where I have all of my fall and winter candles. And I feel like we need to organize and make a list oh. because Bath and Body Works has already come out with their fall candle preview. And I go wild and have no self-control when it comes to fall candles and Christmas candles. There's no control. So take that. And when you're in the hall closet or under the bed, if you get stuck, give it a couple tugs and I'll come and rescue you. Thank you. You pull me out. He's saying it's filled with crap. So we're going to go together, see what we have, and um, see if we need anything new. I don't think we do. Do you guys have that problem? You know when the candles go on sale and you just, you know, it happens? Did you ever do this with belts? Yes. Make that noise. Oh my God. That made my ear... Ring. Ring. Guys, are your ears ringing? If you were here in person, you'd be deaf like me. Thank you, Larry. You're welcome. When we all need hearing aids, we're going to blame you. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh, every time I open. Oh wow, we have a lot of candles. Guys, I think we have like, I'm just going to say that not all of these were purchased last year. Some of these were gifts, okay? So we're going to start with that. And we're just going to go through this whole collection, shall we? I have just pulled out my entire bath and body works candle collection it's just everything i have so we're literally going to sit and go through memory lane sit and see what we have the madness so we have those containers filled with candles and all of these that are either partially burned or not burned at all i'm just gonna stack these so you guys can see in the thumbnail what is happening here Okay. This is going to help me decide whether or not we should do a little Bath and Body Works haul this year. So let's just start from the top. We have a partially burned, <laughs> may the forest be with you, keynotes, fresh fir needles, fresh cedar wood, sweet sap. Smells like a perfect pine tree. It literally reminds me of Christmases here with Larry sitting on the couch with a Christmas tree in the background. That's exactly what that candle reminds me of. Next is Twisted Peppermint, one of my all-time favorite candles. It is in my top two at Bath & Body Works. And this is Cool Peppermint, Sugared Snow, Vanilla Buttercream, Fresh Balsam, and a Hint of Musk. Never burned. Oh, ooh, top one, I think it takes. Oh yeah, I think it's number one. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what your favorite candles are from Bath and Body Works in the comments. Since when did this turn into a Bath and Body Works haul? I'm not quite sure. It makes me feel happy. I enjoy sniffing candles. As long as it doesn't give me a headache, I'll be fine, I promise. But yeah, let me know what your top favorite candles are. And if you don't have Bath and Body Works, if you're not in the US, I wish you guys were here in my living room sitting with me and I could just tell you about it and you guys could sniff it. <laughs> so we're just gonna sniff candles. We're literally just gonna be friends sitting in our living room, having girl chats, sniffing candles. Well, we're gonna have girl chat about candles. Fiji White Sands, mm, not my favorite. I'm not like, a, oh, it's not burned. Oh, it's kind of nice, but that's like not, I don't come alive with these kind of scents, but it is still good. It. The keynotes are fresh cut sugarcane, white nectarine, and sandalwood. Very much a perfect candle for the bathroom. It's very soft. Cranberry woods. 
my mom's favorite, one of them, not my favorite. I think I actually might gift this to her because I seem to light it and every time I light it, I like blow it out fairly quickly. Um, this one is tart cranberry, cinnamon bark, forest cedar, and golden amber, you would think. Those scents would be my favorite, but I think this, the cranberry is just too sweet tart for me and I'm not a huge fan. So we're gonna put that in the give to mom or my mom's pile. That's a good idea, okay. Next, we have cinnamon pine cone. Love this scent. Can't burn it for a long time. It, it gets me, you know what I mean? It, like, it fills my nostril area. This one is fresh pine, cinnamon bark, cedar, and juniper. Oh, it's so good though, but too much, not a good thing. We have California Vineyard, which is dark cherry, black raspberry, and sumptuous Merlot. If you're into that sort of thing, this is great. If you're not into um, that thing, not so great. I'm gonna put that in my donate. Next, we have Tiki Beach. Again, I try to get into these scents for summertime so my house doesn't always smell like fall or Christmas, but it's okay. Again, these kind of scents I'm okay with when they're in the bathroom, but it's not the first thing I wanna smell when I walk into the house. I'm one of those people that likes a nice, warm, cozy, homey, scented vibe um and this is more i mean technically it's warm and cozy but it's more beachy to me and i don't i don't know i still love it but not my thing vanilla musk orchids and toasted coconut it is a good one though it's a good summer candle i'll keep that one just for the sake of keeping that one sweet cinnamon pumpkin yeah i wasn't really thrilled with this one unfortunately and you would think this would be right up my alley this one is the harvest I lied. Key notes for this one are harvest pumpkin, spiced clove, vanilla cream, and brown sugar. I think the spiced clove is a little too spicy. Like it kind of smells like a bonfire to me and it's just not my favorite. Although it has so much potential and sweet cinnamon pumpkin just sounds perfect. It, 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 this is a headache trigger for me. So no. Next, we have another Twisted Peppermint. I'm almost done with it. I might as well just leave it out and we might as well just light it now. So, <laughs> let's do it. Perfectly splendid. Speaking of perfectly splendid, did you hear that Halloween Horror Nights is doing a Haunting on Hill House themed haunted house? I am so excited and for the first time ever I'm so excited about a themed haunted house and I don't think I'm gonna be able to go which is really really disappointing but we'll get to that later on in the next vlog but we'll see we'll see I don't know next candle is spiced apple toddy mmm not one of my favorite candles but it's still good made with cinnamon and clove essential oils and notes of apple brandy Every time I like this one, again, it's one of those that I have to like light for a few minutes and then burn it out or else I'm gonna get a headache. So white eucalyptus and sage, which I burned a couple of times. Again, very much a fresh scented bathroom candle. Keynotes are white eucalyptus, mineral sage, frozen pine. Mm. That white eucalyptus comes in strong. This one, Honeysuckle bouquet. Oh, sweet honeysuckle nectar, peony petals, and soft creamy vanilla. Headache trigger, but so good. So we're just gonna. This one, oh my gosh. This is a throwback, I think, to my old beginning stage YouTube videos. I you know how I remembered it is it's never been lit. I think I used to leave this on my vanity when i used to film videos over there like way back in the day and this was in the background on my vanity vanity because it was super cute larry would love this scent so we'll keep it for larry sweet cinnamon pumpkin we've already sniffed that one another twisted peppermint never burned clearly i don't need twisted peppermint so we're gonna stack the ones that i'm keeping we're gonna stack what the scents are and we're gonna go and do a full-on review at the end and see what we want to purchase if we want to purchase anything new so <gasps> fresh balsam who remembers fresh balsam oh another one that reminds me of just christmas christmas tree at the house the keynotes for this are 
made with pine, cedar wood, and eucalyptus. This is another one that I have to be careful with burning. I can only burn it for short periods of time, so, but it's a goodie. Next, we have fireside. Every now and then, we like a nice fireside. Like, this literally smells like a fire, like a campfire. Larry has this little log cabin, and there's these little, what are those things called, babe, that you stick in it? Uh, little yeah, they're like little incense, and it smells like a fire is burning, and that's what this candle is. So this is smoked cedar, clove buds, and warm embers. Embers? Oh, it is good, but another one, can't leave it burning for long periods of time. The Twisted Peppermint, I can leave burning all day long. Vanilla, all day long, and I'm perfectly fine. Next, we have Vanilla Bee Noel, it's almost gone. See, I'll leave these two out just to burn, like get them done and over with. So those, there's those. Winter, cute, okay. They got, ooh, that's good. Um, Made with orange, fir needle, essential oils, and notes of clove. A very spicy, cool kind of scent. Oh, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. Ah! <laughs> mm -hmm. hmm. Very buttercreamy sweet. Very sweet. If you're not into really, really sweet scents, this is a no-go for you. Hmm. That's kind of good. I can't tell if it's too sweet for me or if I'm like, oh, I kind of like that for kitchen in the fall, baking or something like that. The keynotes are vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. No, I lied. That's the scent of the candle. The keynotes are Tahitian vanilla, pumpkin spice, homemade marshmallow drizzled with caramel. That is where it gets me. Drizzled with caramel. I think that's where it goes a little too sweet for me. Ooh, but that's still good. Ooh, I think I like growing on me she's growing on me okay we might leave her out because it's almost pumpkin season ah. okay next we have marshmallow fireside game changer if you guys can get one candle this fall please get marshmallow fireside that is the number one candle that i recommend from bath and body works for the fall season please do it please do it oh it's perfect okay Keynotes are toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber. Number one, fresh fall morning. It is very full. I can tell I have not burned it. See? Okay. See, I don't... This smells like a fresh man getting out of the shower to me. This is citrus zest, woodland sage, red delicious apples. It's very fresh and crisp, but it, it reminds me of like cologne kind of, and I'm not a huge fan of that. <sighs> we need to roll up our sleeves. Business is getting real, and we need another sip of our chai. Moving on, we are now into here. These are dusty. Okay, we have another, ooh, buddy, a full marshmallow fireside, which means I probably don't need to purchase marshmallow fireside this year, unless I want to stock up and be like, you know, having the house smell like marshmallow fireside all year round, which I'm totally fine with. Um, oh, what's this one? Oh, under the Christmas tree? We didn't get a chance to burn this last year? Are you freaking kidding me? I'm very disappointed. You're fired. Oh my gosh, is that good? I think if you like fresh balsam, but it is too strong for you, under the Christmas tree. If they come out with another one of these this year, I can't believe I didn't burn this. Oh, that's sad. Goals for this year. Fir balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, sage leaves. The vanilla eggnog probably softens it, whereas the fresh balsam doesn't really have vanilla in it, I don't think. No, it does not, which is why it's stronger. Oh, why didn't I burn you? And it's so cute, look. It's darling. Okay, next, looks like a twisted peppermint, unburned. We have three twisted peppermints. We have tree farm, unburned. Oh closer to fresh balsam but not as strong i still think i like under the christmas tree better but this is a top contender i didn't burn this either what was i doing last vlogmas guys was i not burning candles or was i burning candles i don't know what i was doing maybe i was so busy i didn't burn a candle i don't know um crisp pine needle warm cedar spiced apple this is delicious Van another vanilla bean unburned balsam firewood I'm not even familiar with these. It's just the wind kitties. It's very windy here and it just sounded like somebody hit the front door. Oh, that's very light. Is there dust in here? Very, very soft. Okay, so this one is cedarwood, cardamom, white birch. 
Is it cardamom or cardamom? I don't know. Wow, okay, I like that. Very, very mild candle. Okay, we're done here. On to our second tier, and then we have one more tier. These are collecting dust. Frosted spearmint. I don't think I got into these candles. Oh, I got, ah! oh. Mm. I thought there was a bug in it, and it was literally, okay. You see that little guy moving around in there? Right, hold on. But he moved so quickly, it's as if there was something in it. It's this little black. Anyways, let me not panic and make a fool of myself. Oh, that's cute. It's just, it's like a bathroom. I think the, the glass, the frosted glass is prettier than like the actual scent, but it's decent. It's a decent scent. Keynotes, frozen apple, maybe. Snow-capped mint, creamy sandalwood, iced musk. Not bad, not bad. We have <gasps> Merry Mistletoe, unburned. Again, unfamiliar with this scent. Ooh, that's good. Okay, this one is frozen cranberries, sparkling pear, icy peppermint, balsam branches. Did we go over these last year? Like, did we talk about these candles together last year? I don't remember. That is good. Another one that's in the line with Christmas trees, but not super strong, not as strong as fresh balsam. Okay, cinnamon clove buds. I think this one, I don't know if we talked about it yet, but this is one that I have to be careful with. Oh, ooh, wow. Very strong, like cinnamon. Uh, if you had a bad night with fireball, wouldn't recommend this candle. <laughs> Uh, this is cinnamon leaf, clove bud, ground nutmeg. However, if you really like cinnamon, it smells like red hot gum. Twisted peppermint, that means we have one, two, three, four full twisted peppermint candles, which is not a surprise because it is my favorite scent. Tis the season to be jolly, fella. Oh good, oh good. You know the potpourri? <laughs> That's what this smells like. Ooh, or you know what else it smells like? It smells like Hobby Lobby at Christmas time. All those stores, that's what it smells like. All right, tis the season, rich red apple, the apple comes through, sweet cinnamon and cedar wood. All of those scents, I was gonna say flavors, really shine through, A plus on this candle. Did they change this scent? Because I remember not liking tis the season. I remember it being too cinnamony, spicy. But the red apple is stronger in here where it smells like that potpourri. So I like that a lot. This is fun. Are you guys having fun? I'm having fun. I love this. This kind of reminds me of like my old school videos too where I used to sit in front of that. Do you guys remember that? How long have you been here during the videos when I used to sit in front of that little box? I also realized I tried to watch one of my old videos the other day. Oh my God. I, I'm prone to yelling because I'm excited. I'm a Libra. I don't know if that's a Libra thing where you talk really loud, you talk fast, you also hold your breath so you can't breathe and then you're out of breath. But I was yelling at a whole new level in my old videos. It was like the camera was all the way across the room. It was a good distance away from me, but for some reason I felt like I had to yell. And I was like, I can't even watch myself. Like I was like, hello everybody, hello. I'm like, oh my God down Mindy just calm down but you guys know I get excited about things coconut sandalwood unburned it had I don't smell it what the heck I can't I cannot smell this candle and I have a good sniffer my mom mom was like what is wrong with you like your snout is to a whole new level my senses I can smell everything Coconut Palm Luxurious Sandalwood Warm Musk Jasmine. Uh, no, it doesn't have a scent. Like very, very faint coconutty sandalwood, but to the extreme scent that you can't smell it. Tier two, done. We have one more tier to go. Christmas Cider? Unburned. Our SD card was full. We had to fix that problem, but we're back to it. I was in the middle of sniffing Christmas Cider, which is a little sweet. Mulled cinnamon, crushed clove, creamy nutmeg, cinnamon, cin cin blah, blah, simmering cider. Try saying sim simmering cider five times fast. Simmering cider, simmering cider, simmering cider, simmering cider, simmering cider. I guess you can do it. 
Can you do it? Oh, okay. I kind of do like it. You know what? This inspires me. I want to do many of recipes. We are going to do recipes this fall and this Christmas together. This scent makes me want to make my own cider in a crock pot. I've also been Pinteresting recipes like crazy when it comes to pumpkin spice lattes in your crock pot and those kind of things. So we need to we need to experiment together and try a couple of those things. I've got plans, I've got ideas, and we're gonna do it. And this just oh, imagine this burning in the crisp in the kitchen with the crock pot going with that. That is great. All right, we have another Christmas candle. I can tell by the lid it is Santa Claus's belt. That's cute. Frosted forest. Did we already smell one of these. Ah, that's cute. It smells like a Christmas tree. <laughs> that's cute. Um, Frosted juniper, icy eucalyptus, evergreen branches, and white spruce. I like it. Not bad. I see a huge theme here. We have a very large collection of candles that smell similar to a Christmas tree, and we have a large collection of candles of twisted peppermint. That seems to be the theme here. We are lacking in vanilla scented candles, so we will maybe purchase some of those and I might stock up on a few marshmallow fireside, but we are not done yet. We still have three candles to sniff. So cider lane. I burned once. I think I remember it being too sweet. Yeah. Oh, it's good. But then they put caramel in it. Didn't they? Granny Smith apple, warm caramel is the first keynote. Warm caramel, Granny Smith apple, dark brown sugar, and ground clove. It's just the caramel is a little too sweet for me to like. Sun-drenched linen. This is gonna kill the vibe. Smells like fresh laundry. Pool cotton, crisp apple, soft musk. I'm just, I'm not, a, I'm not into these, you know? But for a very powdery, fresh, laundry room this would be nice actually to burn this and if you have one of those cute big dreamy laundry rooms this would be really cute to burn in your laundry room that would be nice and then even when you're not doing laundry you can trick people into like yeah i totally did loads and loads of laundry today by burning that candle ha that's why they created it cucumber and lily this is the last candle never burned very light and fresh reminds me of you know what this reminds me of when it's coming off of that super cold winter and the weather is starting to get nice and you want to open your blinds or in doors and it's only like 50 or 60 degrees and you think that it's summertime and you want to like throw in a tank top even though it's kind of still chilly this is that candle that you light when you're tired of winter and you need spring this is the candle that's very refreshing cucumber it kind of reminds me of the cucumber melon body spray we all used to wear back in the day do you guys remember that I'm gonna keep her. Okay, so up top, we have the twisted peppermint burning, and then next I wanna burn the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, and I also wanna finish off the vanilla bean Noel. And then, this is the section that we sniffed that we are keeping, so. Cucumber lily, frosted peppermint, vanilla bean Noel, we only have one of those um, left, so I might pick up some more of those this year. Twisted peppermint, we are set. And then, these are my very crispy, Christmas tree smelling scents. So I don't need any more Christmas tree smelling scents. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Christmas tree scents. So in different variations. So we don't need any more of those. Oh dear, I'm not even gonna move that. Okay, let's go this way. We'll just move ourselves. Um, this is the ciders, the clove buds, tis the season. So those warmer Christmassy scents. So we're probably good on those. This is the scent that Larry will like that smells very floral. Um, fireplace. Then we have the summery one and my two marshmallow firesides, which I will probably restock on. And then these, I think I'm going to gift to my mom and my mom. I don't think they're going to mind that they're partially burned. And if they do, then I'll just keep them, but I doubt they will. So now I have an idea of what I have. That way I do not get out of hand and splurge on things. So there probably will be another fall candle haul or a Christmas candle haul because there are a few scents that I want to try. There is a new scent that is very hard to get. I don't know if it's new, but it's um it's an apple, like a honey crisp apple, and every time I go to buy it, it is sold out. So, I'm going to be 
trying to get it. Okay, I think I need to put these all away. So let's do that. I can really smell twisted peppermint candle and it smells really good. All right, to keep this all together, I think we're gonna do like pine scented <laughs> Christmas tree candles all in one. These are great inventions. If you order online at Bath and Body Works, at least last year, they started shipping their candles in these and I really like them. Sometimes they ship them in boxes, but these are nice if you have a lot of candles and you can just keep everything in these and it's really convenient. Just a peppermint zone. More. Oh! <clears throat> Almost knocked myself out. Well, the candles tried to knock me out. Why am I so hungry? I ate macaroni and cheese, which is carb crazy and I'm hungry. What time is it, babe? Uh, almost five o'clock. Oh, it is almost five? Yeah. I started filming this at like three, didn't I? I've been filming for two hours. So guys, I think I'm gonna end this video here because it's probably gonna be really long now that I went through all of my candles. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of like collection candle video. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment down below. Let me know which candle scents are your favorite. Let me know what you're excited to purchase this year, candle-wise. Uh, since you saw the fall preview, if you haven't seen the fall preview, there's a fall preview already. But anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again very soon with very exciting news from Larry and I coming in our next video. So, yay, bye.